donate my mic. <coughs> and the purpose of our engagement today was to review the now ongoing security compact arrangement between Kenya and the United Kingdom, which has defined our areas of cooperation in the matters of the security of our two countries. This arrangement began sometimes back in 2015, was refreshed in 2018, and we've just signed off a new phase to allow Kenya and the United Kingdom to continue collaborating in the fight against terrorism, in the fight against, against cybercrime, in the fight against organized transboundary crime, including, but not limited to, uh, trafficking in persons, and also illicit financial flows, and an, a wide array of cooperation to ensure that our criminal justice system is able to be able to help the country to be stable and safe for all our citizens and all other people who are lawfully in our country. I am happy, therefore, to confirm that we have signed a renewal of the joint uh, security compact between Kenya and the United Kingdom. I want also to confirm that uh, we have looked at uh, possibly expanding the areas of cooperation under the compact. And one of the things that uh, is an outcome of uh, what we have just signed off is that we have identified the need to strengthen the flow of illicit financial uh, activities and, 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 and to be able to rein in on um, money laundering and the financing of terrorism and other illegal activities. Other than that, we have also signed a letter of intent for cooperation between Kenya and the United Kingdom in information sharing with regard to maritime security. And therefore, going forward, our teams will be finalizing on the action plan so that our two countries can collaborate in enhancing um, a maritime security by sharing information and learning from the experiences of each other. Other than that, we have, over be, we have also been able to sign off this morning a framework or an agreement for cooperation in the area of training of our National Police Service. And we are going to develop a detailed uh, action and activity plan to ensure that we leverage on the long experience of uh, the United Kingdom to be able to support Kenya to enhance our policing capabilities. Already that collaboration has been going on, but we want to escalate it into a new and fresh level and also to tailor it to be able to respond to the ever-changing uh, security challenges that Kenya is facing. And therefore, that uh, training support is a welcome support because as Kenya, we have decided that we are going to have a two-pronged approach to our policing, 
And the one approach will be to continue strengthening the ordinary day-to-day -day policing activities. And, but at the same time, we want to continually develop the capacity of our tactical specialized units within the National Police Service that help us to combat, to detect, and also combat complicated and sophisticated criminal activities, including the uh, cattle rustling and banditry, uh, terrorism, and also money laundering. And therefore, the support that um, is being given to the tactical arms or, or units within our National Police Service will go a long way in enhancing Kenya's preparedness to ensure that we have a stable country, which is good for our citizens and to all other people who are within our territory. I also want to make two, three other remarks before I invite my counterpart to make his remarks. And firstly is to, to say that uh, the friendship between Kenya and the United Kingdom is longstanding, it is entrenched, and it is long term. We appreciate what the United Kingdom has done to support Kenya on the basis of mutual respect and reciprocity over the years. And we have no reservations whatsoever to work our way out and to make sure that we sustain this relationship so that our, the people of our two countries can enjoy shared prosperity, even as we look into the future. Secondly, the remark I wanted to make is just to emphasize and underscore that Brit uh, the United Kingdom has remained a key partner for Kenya in the area of the fight against corruption and the fight also against illicit financial flows as well as money laundering. In that respect, we have been able to agree to uh, a, a, a program whereby they will continue supporting us even as we uh, manage that space because just like terrorism, the flow of illicit uh, finances is an international and transboundary uh, criminal activity and it requires international support, international collaboration. Lastly, uh, in the past, <laughs> present and in the future, the United Kingdom is also supporting Kenya to ensure that we uh, remove the threat of a cyber, uh, as the, the threat of, uh, of that comes through the cyberspace. And therefore, we want to commit ourselves to ensure that uh, over and above the framework documents that have been signed, we are going to rapidly develop uh, action plans which should be concluded in the next two weeks or so, so that we can have uh, this uh, program running into the future, making sure that our countries are uh, aligned and looking at our stability from a common perspective. The agenda that he has set out has been one that we've been working on together for a long time. It's ambitious, it's based on the needs of both of our nations and all of our people, on reinforcing and securing the living bridge that binds us between the communities that live in either country and, for many of our citizens, in both. And it's about looking at the challenges that we all face. Because the reality is, as the minister has set out this morning, as the cabinet secretary has set out this morning, the isolation of the old days doesn't exist anymore. The challenges that face the region at sea, on land, in cyberspace, challenge us both and challenge us together. And so working together 
is the only way to secure the British people, just as it's the only way to secure the Kenyan people. So this partnership, building on a long and deep history of friendship, is exactly what we need to be doing together. And I'm very proud to have a friend in Professor Kendiki, who is showing the leadership in fighting money laundering, corruption, terrorism, and state threats, all together and all united. If I may, I'm going to use this opportunity as well to say thank you publicly to the Kenyan people for the participation of Kenyan troops in the coronation parade this weekend. It meant an awful lot to the king, and the prime minister mentioned it to me particularly, that seeing troops from Kenya there was a reminder of the depth of the partnership and the importance of the friendship. And it was very touching. So to you, my friend, thank you. It was a great pleasure to see them and to welcome them. Now, this document that we've signed today and the action plan that we're going to be finalizing in the coming fortnight is a living document. Because just as our nations have evolved and changed, just as the opportunities for our people have developed, sadly, too, the threats have changed, too. And they will continue to change. And so what we've done today is we've laid the seed for a foundation that will grow in strength. And it will do two things. It will defend the British people, of course. That is why I'm here. And it will defend the Kenyan people. That is why you're here. But it will do one more thing. It will deepen Kenya's role as a regional power. And it will expand Kenya's voice as a global siren for what matters in this world. So thank you very much, Cabinet Secretary, for your welcome and for your friendship. It's a privilege to be here.